you give me a loan. Give it to me on credit and I will pay for it later. That can only happen when there is access to credit. And that's what India stack is going to change. And you know, the numbers are very attractive for India because private credit to GDP is 57%. Okay? So it's pretty low. Uh, just to contextualize this, that number is 225% in China. Okay, four times more. And um, yes, of course, India's per capita income is lower, so it ought to have lower credit. But even in justice to that, India is, I dare say, under level. Mm -hmm. Especially corporate India, because corporate debt to GDP is just 46%. Okay. And uh, therefore, there's a lot of scope for this to happen. And that's, I think, what will happen in the next 10 years, because access to credit improves, and the starting point of the balance sheet is under level, incomes are rising, so people will spend their future. See, when you take a loan, you're spending your future. But in this country, we've never spent our future. So, okay, my father never borrowed money. In last part, I've never borrowed money. So we never spend our future. We only spend our current income. Whereas in the US, people have spent their future, which is, you know, one of the big problems that we have in the world. Yeah. And the indebtedness is very high. So I think, mean, you know, you can see that, that because the capacity to spend the future only arises when you have access to credit. Uh -huh. And that is what uh, India's tax is doing. Uh -huh. 